This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. If everybody apart from the new Mandy could please could mute themselves. Everybody apart from Mandy, please mute. Thank you. Three months ago, few people had really heard of Zoom. It was a tiny company in San Francisco with employees in single figures making profits of less than $200,000. Now it's expecting revenue of $1.8 billion and it's become the pandemic video call software of choice for millions around the world. Our business journalist Mark Shaplin joins me now over Zoom. Mark, what happened? I think for Zoom, it was just the perfect company for this moment. I think the the pandemic for some technology companies has really pushed them forward. And Zoom is one of those companies. It was always a good company uh, founded by Eric Wan. Its service has always been good, but the pandemic has forced everybody online. They obviously can't meet up in person and Zoom has just taken off. But it's not like it was entering a market that didn't have big hitters in it. You know, Skype was the, the dominant one before then. What? Why did everyone move to Zoom? I think Skype has really missed a trick here. I mean, this should have been Skype's area to own. I think the problem with Skype is it started off as a voice uh, activated service. It then got bought by Microsoft and since its acquisition by Microsoft, it's just gone backwards to the point where one Microsoft executive last year at a conference pretty much dismissed the company and said that all their efforts are going into Microsoft Teams. So I think that even in Microsoft, if you want a product like Zoom, they're probably going to try and sell you a similar service through Microsoft Teams rather than Skype. So Skype has really missed the boat on this one. Can it beat off challenges, though, like Facebook, which is getting heavily into video conferencing, isn't it? That's going to become a much more crowded market. Yeah, definitely. And, and Facebook has actually made inroads into this space, and so have others. Um, I think, in fairness to Zoom, it, it's a very simple product, and it's very well designed. Just because it's simple, you know, don't underestimate it. It's simple because of the effort that's been put in. It's very easy to join calls. It's very easy to conference. Other than just clicking a link, they really take little or no uh, information off you, which can't be said for the others. Um, so I think people like to go on Zoom because they think, Right, the only thing I'm going to do on here is talk to my colleagues or talk to a friend and I'm not going to do anything else. I think part of the problem with these other larger companies is you go on Facebook and you think, right, I'll have a video call, but you're fully aware of how much data they have on you. You're fully aware that you've posted most of your life's pictures up there. So I think the beauty of Zoom is really its simplicity more than anything else. I'm just looking at these figures, Mark, and they're pretty incredible. It's expecting revenue of 1.8 billion. Profits were $27 million. A year ago, profits were $198,000. I mean, where does it go from here? Can it continue that kind of rise? I think it can continue. I think this is only the start. There's no sign of lockdown officially ending yet. Obviously, companies are talking about getting back into offices, but let's be realistic. For most, that probably won't be till September. Or for others, it might not even be till January next year. So this teleconferencing space is not going away anytime soon. The figures are extraordinary. Its share price valuation is extraordinary as well. I mean, for instance, it now has a market value of 59 billion US dollars, which is greater than the combined market values of all the four largest US airlines alone. Um, now, that just shows what completely different directions the two industries have gone under, under lockdown. But, it, you know, it, it's remarkable growth. Yeah. Search for The Leader Coronavirus Daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.